welcome to Shell Point today for Thursday, December 15th. I'm Adam Brown. On today's show, we'll have another art chat segment with Margie Lee. She will visit with Marilyn Fowler. She's turned her residence into a fabulous art studio and will have some beautiful paintings to show us. But first, we want to remind you of this Saturday's LifeQuest discussion group. Join Shell Point's Director of Spiritual Services, Sunny Torres, as she discusses time and how it can have a tremendous impact on our spiritual health. She will explore the different uses of time and how it can either benefit or eat away at the limited measure of our days. This Life Quest discussion group could give you a different perspective on passing the time while we still have the opportunity. The Life Quest group will meet at 10 a.m. in the Grand Cypress Room of the Woodlands Saturday. The Village Church recently wrapped up their annual Thanksgiving food drive and the results are in. Over 1,200 pounds of food and $4,172 in monetary donations were collected. Thanks to everyone who participated in the drive. And now it's time to see what Margie Lee is up to in this week's Art Chat segment. She visits Marilyn Fowler, who has turned her residence into a fabulous art studio. Let's go there now to see some of her beautiful paintings. Hello everyone, and welcome to another Art Chat. I'm Margie Lee, and today we're in Turban talking with Marilyn Fowler. Now we're at the entrance to Marilyn's apartment and this should give you a clue that this is going to be a very interesting art chat. Greetings. Welcome to my studio. Hello. <laughs> Come on in and look around. This is my art space. Art to me is my life, so I live with my art. Would you like to see what's, uh, what's here? This whole wall, floor to ceiling, pieces that I've done that are oils, charcoals, uh, some pastel, um, works in progress, works of a very favorite friend. This is, is someone who I collect her pieces, or was gifted her pieces. I have this wonderful space out here that overlooks Shell Point, which has always been an inspiration. When I first moved in, I thought I'm going to be the Grandma Moses of Shell Point and paint what I see out the window. <laughs> Over here, I had different shells of different pieces. Some are complete, some are works in progress. Marilyn, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. And I know you have another room that you call your prop room. Yes. Let's go look at that. Come on. <laughs> I, I chose a Murphy bed because it's much more practical. I was going to so say, where's I the have... bed? This is your only bedroom, <laughs> right? <laughs> so that I have more space and so any project I'm working on, I can come in here and grab the tools that I need for the particular project and then either set up a table in this room and work on the piece or take it into the other room. I often set up a, an easel on my lanai. Uh, for that purpose also. Now this would be a good time for you to spend a couple of minutes telling our viewers what you did in your profession because art has been your profession, is your profession. It's been my profession. I've been a self-employed artist since I was about 21 years old and I um, my first degree is in interior architecture so I was doing inner space design which is sort of Baja style, Chicago style uh -huh, in this country uh -huh. And um, from that, because I had strength in my renderings and my presentations for in the architecture and interiors, I took that skill into advertising art and also into uh, layout for, for newspapers and, and department stores and all. 
and then moved to New York City and began applying those same principles to scenic design. Which is such a fun, and we're going to get into a little bit mm -hmm. about your scenic design. Okay. Let's go back to the other room and look at what you have in the exhibition, Ageless Creativity. Lead Let's the way. Let's do it. Come the on. work that immediately catches my eye in here is this wonderful woman. Tell us about her. I call her the lady of the house. And this lady has been overseeing my garden uh, when, before I moved into Shell Point. It's an oil painting um, done from life. It was done in about an hour and a half. An hour and a half. This particular, uh, I like to work very fast. Uh -huh. I work standing up. And she was a great model that I used several times uh, in Missouri before I, um, in the beginning of my retirement. And next to her, we have this wonderful work. Uh, this is charcoal? This is charcoal. Um, figure studies are very important to me. I like working from life. And a technique that I use a lot of times is called, uh, some people call it subtractive, mm -hmm. in that I'm actually working. I see the, the, I have the model in front of me. I've already prepared paper like this, which has the charcoal just on it. And then I'm actually drawing, beginning to draw uh -huh. with erasers. With an eraser, that's fascinating. With erasers. So you're drawing something for us right now. Mm -hmm. And this shows us just how quickly you can do this. So the question is, what are you drawing? See if our viewers can guess. This I'm is seeing. going to kind of look like a caricature initially <laughs> because I'm just getting down some points. And of course, you are looking down. <laughs> Okay. So a face is taking shape here. A face here. is taking shape. It's amazing how quickly you're doing this. But a lot of it is what's happening in the background too. And then a lot of times I will come in and this will not be complete because... And then I'll come in with the charcoal sometimes and add it. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> you have to be two-fisted. See, you looked up, and so I'm saying something <laughs> different. And in doing this, what you're doing is really trying to capture the essence exactly. of a subject or exactly. a purpose. And there I am. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> That's very fun. But anyway, then your signature, you know, I always think of you with this. With the necklace. With that particular necklace. <laughs> to be continued. To be continued. <laughs> this one's called Julie Sits Quietly. And here again, it's Conte crayon, a lot of the things that were in my toolbox, charcoal, Conte, to get the whole spectrum of um, dark to light. I'm seeing a lot of triangle shapes Exactly. In Every painting or every drawing begins with an abstract and you kind of just saw that with what I was doing with with your portrait but this is all about and you start to see when you look at a, a subject this one happened to be all triangles uh -huh. I mean she had a very triangular she had a tiny head and of course I love foreshortening and I was sitting probably this far away from uh -huh. her or standing and so there are triangles triangles mm -hmm triangles forming the whole the whole piece and uh, triangles circles um, and squares are what everything is made of well and speaking of circles compositionally <laughs> speaking oh, of circles yes <laughs> yes let's move now <laughs> to this wonderful work which i know was meant is meant to be displayed on the wall and it will be on display in the Ageless Creativity Exhibition, as will the three works that we just talked mm -hmm. about. But tell us, what are we looking at here? T tell us about this. This is a piece of scenery that I couldn't part with. Okay. And it's on the floor at this point. It's not a floor mat or anything. It's okay. to, because when in, in painting a lot of scenery, we actually tack things to the floor. Uh -huh. Tack our uh -huh. canvas, uh -huh. start with white canvas like uh -huh. you see behind, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then um, draw in what's called a cartoon. Okay. This is the same way Michelangelo did the Sistine 
uh, chapel or any of the old masters worked, they did a cartoon drawing first, the outline drawing, and then filled, and then filled it in. Now, he worked in the opposite. He worked lying down and mm -hmm. he was painting the ceiling. Mm -hmm. And what we do when we're painting on the floor is we take pieces of bamboo and put our brushes in the bamboo. This, why is this? It becomes an extension of your arm. Uh. It's like you, your arm is the paintbrush. Uh -huh. And I particularly liked it for years when I was a very active scenic painter because it was like dancing. Mm. And so what we do is take, and, and I'm just going to demonstrate there isn't any paint in here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but dip into the paint and then begin. And you choose a brush that is about the width of where you're going to be, or what you, you know what, what you're painting. This I uh, did. I draw these circles in freehand. <laughs> no, I did not. I took a piece of one by, put a nail in yes. it, put that in the center, marked my my circle widths, and then used it as a large giant compass. Yep. And so this is a matter of just following it around. But it's been such a treat to be able to do this. I studied with an old Russian master. Um, in New York City, uh, Lester Polakov, mm -hmm. and um, that's how I learned the trade. And then I started out as a paint girl, uh, washing buckets, mixing paint, and then worked my way worked up way to up being to, a, to a, a, like a lead painter. Well, it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful in the exhibition. And lastly, we want to show people a work in progress. And this is, this is quite different. Uh, still another style. Uh, describe what's going on with this work. What's going on here, I call this one morning at Shell Point, and I have the most amazing view here on the sixth floor. Yeah. It's just ever-changing. Uh, sometimes there are pink skies, sometimes there are yellow uh -huh. skies. Uh -huh. And so this painting um, is started as just impressions just impressions, or sometimes I'll go, how do I feel this morning? And I'll make strokes on, on the canvas. Um, this particular one, I'm not even sure which way it goes yet. <laughs> well, I see the water, I see the sunshine, the light, the, the structures, yeah. the buildings. And right now there's a predominance of yellow, but when the piece is actually finished, it, it might be more pinks and, and reds. Uh, might be an entirely different different palette. And there's even a bit of sparkle there, which reminds me of the sparkle of the water exactly. that you see here at, exactly. at Shell Point, which is, there's just enough of it to be intriguing. It's, it's quite wonderful. I'd like this to be the beginning of a series. I think it's going to be the beginning of a series, and I'll line up a bunch of this size canvas I've decided on this size and, and, and do a series of different times of day. Well, thank you. Thank you for showing it to us. And, and for everybody watching, if you'd like to see the finished work, you need to come to the exhibition. It's called Ageless Creativity. It will open February 3rd in the Sydney and Byrne Davis Art Center in downtown Fort Myers. So I want to thank you, Marilyn, for being here with us today. It's been a delight. And thank you to everyone for being with us. We'll see you soon. Thanks bye -bye. for being here. Bye-bye. Here on the Shell Point property, it's certainly beginning to look a lot like Christmas, as the song says. It's Christmas at Shell Point.
time to cover all today's happenings, menus, and Village Church connections. Hello everyone and welcome to the Happenings segment of Shaw Point TV. I'm Dora Robbins. And I'm Bev Chandley. And we're here to tell you about all the activities that are going to take place here today at Shaw Point. We're going to start at 715 with Health Connections, Ben Breathe and Balance, that's at the Health Club. At 8 o'clock we have Men's Golf at the Shaw Point Golf Club. We have Pickleball at 8 o'clock in the Game Courts. At 9.15, it's Shuffleboard at the Shuffleboard Courts on the island. Current events at 9.30 in the game room at the Woodlands. And at 9.30, it's Paddler's Club at the Kayak Storage. We have Introduction to Beginning Line Dance at 9.45. Suzy Q is going to Mantanzas on the Bay at 10 o'clock. Sign up is required. Basic Line Dancing at the Health Club at 10.15. And at 10.15, Health Connection, Getting Around Safely and Enjoyably. That's at the Social Center on the Island. Sign up is required. And here's Beth to tell you about the afternoon. Thanks, Dora. At 12.45, we have Mahjong. That's in the library lounge on the island. At 1 o'clock, we have peripheral neuropathy and physical therapy interventions. That's at the Oak Room of the Woodlands. We have a Butterfly Garden Committee meeting at 1.15. That'll be in the first floor west parlor at King's Crown. Samba, the card game, will be in the Resident Activity Center at 1.15. We also have the 1.15 Spot Play Readers Group in the Osprey Room. At 1.45, the King's Crown Fun and Fitness will be going on at the Community Room of King's Crown. And we have a field trip leaving at 2 o'clock for Charlotte Harbor. It's the Holiday Lights Canal Boat Tour. We uh, have the Island Court pickups beginning at 2, 2.10 for the Woodlands, 2.20 for Eagles Preserve in the Estuary. Also at 2 o'clock, we have the Stamp Ministry in the Stamp Room on the Island. And we have Ballet Fit in the Health Club at 2.45. The Springs Bible Study will be in the Springs Private Dining Room at 3 o'clock. And at 3.45, we have a Health Connections class, Yoga Fit. That's in the Health Club. Our seamstress will be here for her weekly service in the Osprey Room at 4 o'clock. And we have a 4.30 Alcoholics Anonymous meeting in the Sable Room at the Woodlands. We have more Christmas carols being performed by the Shell Point Jazz Band beginning at 6 o'clock at the Cove. 6.20 at the Fitness Center for Ed Eagles Preserve. At 6.40, it'll be at Parkwood. 7 o'clock, Rosemont. 7.20, Oakmont. 7.40, Lakewood. We also have more caroling on the Suzy Q. At 6 o'clock, the, sh the ship sails for their fun Christmas celebration. At 6.30, we have Pinnacle in the Library Lounge, and that rounds out our activities for the day. Well, that's our activity lineup for today, and we will see you back here again tomorrow. Menus for Thursday. In the Crystal Room, the Crystal Platter is homemade meat lasagna with garlic bread and spinach. For dinner, they're featuring their Crystal Carving Board for $14.95. The soup of the day is potato leek. In the Island Cafe, the sandwich special is grilled three cheese on challah with a cup of soup for $7.95. Dinner specials in the Palm Grill are Coffee Rub New York Strip for $19.95 or Grilled Shrimp Romesco for $15.95. All menus are available 24 hours a day at www.shellpoint.net. Welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm David Pavey, and with me are two of my neighbors, Dick and DJ Prescott. Welcome, friends. It's nice to have you with us today. Nice Thank to you. be here. Good. Thank you for providing us, David. Well, of course, you know, the purpose of this is to talk a little bit about the Alpha course. And uh, we're excited because we're starting again in January. This is a 10-week course that runs from January the 10th until March the 14th. And the purpose of the course, of course, is to uh, give a basic uh, presentation of the essential elements of the Christian message. So this is for people who don't go to church very often, people who do go but would like a refresher course about what it's all about. And uh, we begin at 4.30 every Tuesday for that 10 week period at 4.30 p.m. at the Grand Cypress, at the Grand Cypress Room. And we conclude promptly at 6.45. And each evening is comprised of three phases, a nice cooked meal that's provided by the Palm Grill, and then a video featuring 
the message and then a half hour or so for a small group discussion when we pull apart what we've heard and we share our journey and we, we learn from each other, basically. The important thing of this particular afternoon is that now is the time to sign up. We have about 30 places left that are available, and so we want people to call the village church and to sign up if this rings their bell or floats their boat or whatever we say around here. <laughs> so Dick and DJ, it's, it's so good to have you. And I wonder... Thank you, you could, for having us, Dave. Yeah. Uh, what was it that first prompted you to take the Alpha course? Well, uh, I, of course, never heard of Alpha here, but I did attend service at Holy Trinity Church in uh, London. And there I heard about the Alpha Course, and that's where the Alpha Course originated. That was way back in 77, I think. Y yes, long uh, ago. Long ago. Uh, I, was, I just uh, jotted this down somewhere that it, is now, it has now been used by uh, 27 million people. In 159 countries, 112 languages, and in the United States, every major denomination has used this as a presentation of the Christian message. So. Yes, it's spread worldwide, and it is throughout America. That's reaching a lot of people. So what was it, getting back to the question, that uh, tweaked your interest? Well, <coughs> being a resident of Shell Point, of course, I picked up on this, that it was given here, and I thought, well, absolutely. It, it, I heard nothing but praise in Europe for the Alpha Course, and I thought it would be interesting to take it, and so DJ and I signed up. Excellent. Is there any particular aspect of it that you enjoyed uh, looking back? Maybe you'd like to answer that one, DJ. Well, for myself, not having the benefit of a Christian background, I was curious about it, and having seen Nicky Gumbel in person, I was impressed with what he had to say, so I started out as being mainly a listener, and then I became more involved, uh, asking questions, becoming more familiar with the people, and you mentioned friendships. We have maintained an Alpha Reunion class on the last Thursday of every month, so we're now very close with about seven other people. Wonderful. And we look forward to meeting them, and we, you know, we, we share fellowship and desserts and everything, <laughs> and we keep delving farther and farther, and I'm, I'm learning more, speaking up more, so we signed up again. We enjoyed well, it so much. <laughs> that's wonderful. <laughs> You're not the only ones. So that's, that's really good. We'll hope that you will take this seriously and perhaps call the Village Church today to 454-2147 uh, and sign up for the Alpha course. And we'll look forward to seeing you there. So David Pavey here and Dick and DJ signing off. And thanking you for tuning in once again to Village Church Connections. Thanks for joining us for today's show. Tune in again tomorrow when we'll have another Fine Mark Minute from Fine Mark National Bank and Trust. And we'll recap the top stories from earlier this week. Until then, this has been Shell Point Today for Thursday, December 15th. I'm Adam Brown, and on behalf of everyone here at SBTV, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And we'll see you again tomorrow.